Hey guys, it's Choose to Fight Thousand. Got my uh, steering column all apart here, and uh, gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put it back together. Um, power washed quite a bit of stuff today. Just wanna show you that. Got the rear end cleaned up pretty good. The engine, the uh, frame, all looks pretty nice. It's the rear end. The thing was covered in grease, if you guys remember. Um, I had to flip it right over and everything get right in there. Um, engine itself looks pretty good. It's pretty clean inside, so just uh, left the tin work on and power washed it. Just waiting for it to dry here. And the frame. Frame's really clean. Um, most of the stuff you could just kind of scuff pad it and uh, paint it. Um, there's no uh, flaking paint really here and there. So um, it's pretty clean actually. And that's rust there and that's rust. So I'm going to have to probably at least hit some sandpaper. Um, got the front axle really good. Um, I do notice that the, this axle actually turns really easy. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to take it apart or not. Um, the pins are fairly loose, so it uh, should steer pretty easy. Um, also got this thing I got to work on for a customer. It's a 1650, so uh, pretty good shape. But, uh, yeah, well, here's a 50-inch deck that I never showed you guys when I was finished. Uh, I got the mule drive all done. I got the two pulleys right there that I painted yesterday. So, just got a couple parts up here. Um, anyway, let's get the steering box. Alrighty. So, Ross steering box here. So, what we're going to want to do first, just dry this off some more. I uh, got the inside pretty clean. I uh, put it in a parts washer. Um, mainly for just this stuff, I use kerosene. That's what's in the parts washer. And uh, works pretty good. Alrighty. So we got the actual housing here. Uh, move this. Here's the steering shaft. You look at the worm gear. It's not bad. Um, it's not all chewed up at least. I've taken a couple apart that were all chewed up. Um, the uh, bearing race, the upper one, still looks pretty good. Um, I didn't pull it off, but it's on there good. So uh, you can see that, and here's a couple of the races. This was obviously the bottom one because it's more pitted. Uh, here's the top one. This one looks really good. Uh, you can tell the difference between the two ball bearing uh these either cages or spacers or whatever you want to call them. You can see these are not nearly as shiny. These almost look brand new. Um, this was obviously on the top and this was on the bottom. So uh, pretty much what I'm going to have to do here is just going to put it back together the same way. I'm not going to spend the money and uh, just to put new ball bearings in the thing. Um, so Let's uh, get this thing back together. Should be pretty simple. So, uh, first thing you want to do, uh, we're going to take a little bit of grease here. A little bit of grease. It's that one. It's that one. And then uh, this goes over the top of this, so we can uh, we can do that. Some down here. Here's the top cage. Now you can see how this is made. It only pretty much can go on one way. Um, you want to slide it on this way, but we're gonna put a little bit of grease on this too. We're not uh, putting anything to dry. So it's not how you do it.
All right, we got our Baron race down here. We're gonna take this one, slide it right down to here. Got our other Baron race here. Slide that one, or drop it down there. And then when this goes back on, they spin really, really, really good. I'm gonna set it like that for right now. Some more grease here. This will also keep everything together when you, you stick it. So, all right, so now what we're gonna do, just gonna slide it back in. Okay. It'd be good if I had the uh, bearing in the end of the cover here. Um, Actually, that's one thing I should check before I put this back in. Let's do this first. Doesn't matter if it does this. All right. So this is what you want to do here. See the bearing? We gotta we gotta tighten that up a little bit here. This thing's obviously been way rounded out. They're already getting better. Almost. Not bad. I'm not saying that's going to stay forever, but just had to shrink it a little bit. All right, so now let's throw this back in here. Wish I had remembered that before. Okay, so we got that. Here's the bottom. Inner race. Whoops, gonna put some grease on here. Okay, we got the bottom ball bearings here. This one on like this. You gotta make sure all of uh, the ball bearings stay in as you're putting it together. You're gonna have a big issue if you don't. Okay, there's that. Alright, next thing here, here's the end cap, and then this race here sits in there, and basically, just thread it all together. I actually use this file to turn it, since I didn't have a screwdriver near me. If those bottom bearings were uh, better shape, this thing wouldn't be grinding nearly as bad, I don't think. Let's back it off a little bit. See how that is. All right, that's a little better. We don't have any, um, I guess we got a little bit of play. We should 
probably tighten that. So let's put this, this is, uh, like I said, a Cub Cadet bearing for the uh, older Cubs with the three quarter inch. That's better. So now we can keep this centered up here. And that thing turns pretty nice. So now, let's uh, put a little bit more pressure on this and see if it gets better. I think we got what we got there. So we're gonna take a little cotter pin. You got a hole right here. You gotta line up one of these slots with it. And then just uh, peen the head over. That locks the end cap in place so it doesn't unscrew from you. If you do this, it only moves a tiny bit. Um, we're actually going to move that tiny bit. So now, what I do is I just pack it right full of grease now. It's nice and new looking in there now. And then just turn this. it back and forth and uh, just keep filling it in now, yeah you could probably use uh, wheel bearing grease in a can and just do it that way but I think this works pretty good yeah looks pretty good in there it's all packed right around the worm gear and then you got your plate here we got to put on our uh, gasket first, but here's the plate and here's this knob here. And this is what actually rides in the worm gear. But first let's put on our gasket. This is just a piece of styrofoam. This is the original piece that was in it. Yeah, all right, let's do this first. Well, here. Okay, Put a little bit more in there before we close it back up. All right. Now this this rod here goes into this hole. Um, probably a little bit of the grease in that as well. And uh, we're gonna have to adjust this in or out depending on where it wants to be. Okay, so we're gonna flip it over. Here's our washer. A little bit more grease in that. Never have enough grease here. Now, like I mentioned before, you put on you would put on that skinny washer for the power steering upgrade. Um, like I said, I don't I don't need that. This box should be way better than it was. It's got new grease in it. Turns pretty nice. The only other thing we gotta do here. Tighten this down. A little bit of play. That thing's loose though. And you want to be able to turn it by hand. Um, you don't want it to be too tight because you'll never be able to turn it. We, gotta, eh, we don't have much play here. We can use a little bit. Does this fit? Yep. Same thing with the file. So you don't want to go too tight. It will never turn with the steering wheel. 
You don't want it to be too loose. The only way to tighten it up is to either turn these nuts in or turn this in. Um, you can see we still got some play here, so we're gonna take this and Alright, we got way much play. But basically it's all you're doing is just uh, tightening this, loosening that, get a happy medium, because it is war. So you're like right now, I can barely turn it past that point because it's too tight. So it's probably about right. It'll probably always get tight right in the middle here. That feels good. Alright, so now we're gonna go with that. We're gonna just tighten this a little bit more. And then we're gonna put the other nut on top. Check it one more time here. That's good. I'm gonna take this, and tighten it down. Probably gonna need another wrench to do that better. So that's basically it. Actually really not that hard. So you got, you know, a few pieces in there, a few ball bearings. Um, you get the bearing up top, which I used to replace the old plastic uh, um, bushing. I guess that's what it would have been. Um, but yeah, it works pretty good. Like I said, it does get a little bit tight right at the middle. So uh, it'll it'll work in though. Right there is where it gets tight, but uh, you can turn it by the end here. Once you get the steering wheel on it, you'll have plenty of uh, leverage, and it'll wear in as you uh, go. But uh, yeah, not bad. At least I didn't have to buy nothing. Um, I know this these steering boxes can get really pricey. And uh, it, if you're going to go through the tractor, it's a good idea to take this apart. Or at least take off this plate and look in there and see what's in there. If it's been greased and it looks fine, that's one thing. But this one looked like it had dirt in there because the grease was so old. And uh, just uh, that wasn't going to work. So uh, turns like a dream now. So... Uh, any questions you guys got let me know and uh, When I go to paint this up, I'm gonna leave this aluminum color just like they had it and just tape it off and paint this black and uh, We should be in business So all right guys. Thanks for watching Oops. Any questions? Uh, let me know uh, and uh, We'll see you next time